Hi there, Mark Johnson. Thanks for joining me at the beach on a beautiful day. I've got my water housing and my swim fins, and uh, I'm about to go take some new water shots. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to show you some of my previous ones I've taken while using a water housing out in the ocean. So, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. So what you're trying to do when you shoot water shots is place yourself in the most important place where you'll get the action and composition and focus all together at once. It's very difficult to do, but when it comes together, like this shot on Oahu, where I put myself right inside a tubing wave, uh, it works out well. This is on the Gold Coast of Australia. You can see the clouds and the sun through the breaking face of the wave, which is pretty unique. In fact, that's the only time I've gotten a shot like that. Uh, here in Kailua Bay, I'm on a kayak. We're all paddling out to the Mokalua Islands, and I'm trying to get the action and composition just right. In this Mexican wave, it's uh, backlit from the rising sun as it's kind of half breaking. I took the picture. Uh, here again, I'm uh, inside the wave as a backwash hits it off the island of Kauai in Hawaii. Again, uh, placing is everything. Here's, I'm shooting with a semi-telephoto in a water housing off the Nepali coast of uh, Hawaii, getting uh, Jeff way up in the air. Again, in Hawaii, you can see this mountain range as I'm inside the wave looking out. Again, backlit, really lights up the wave, kind of a fluorescent green. Uh, here's Lori, outrigger canoe paddler. I kind of did a split level view. You can see the paddle underneath the water. And finally, we've got the setting sun outside of a tube in Kira on the Gold Coast of Australia. And as always, uh, click this link right here and you go to the web gallery where you can see these again. Thanks for watching. Until next time, aloha.